Next up, we have Webflow. Just like Wix and Squarespace, Webflow has a drag and drop website builder, but it gives you even more flexibility and customization options when it comes to the website design. So with Webflow, you can really make your website look perfect and optimize the design for any screen size. This is why Webflow is a great option for designers and developers who are looking to build something very customized and potentially more complex than your average website. However, it's definitely more of an advanced website builder that takes longer to learn, so I wouldn't recommend it to complete beginners. Webflow also has an open marketplace for apps and website templates. That's why there's currently over 1,500 website templates to choose from, some of which are free and others cost between $50 and $100. If you want to start a blog or create an online store, you can also do that with Webflow. Webflow also has a free plan allowing you to publish your website on a Webflow domain. If you want to use your own custom domain, then you're going to have to choose a paid plan starting at $14 per month if you pay annually. For online stores, the plans start at $29 per month. In my experience, building websites on Webflow can be a lot of fun and you can get really creative, but it definitely takes more time compared to the other website builders I've mentioned previously in this video. So if you're looking for a ready to go website as quickly as possible, then Webflow is probably not the right choice for you. But if you want maximum design freedom and you wanna build something completely custom, then I can definitely recommend it. And I do have a one hour beginner tutorial that'll help you get started with Webflow.